Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to prune crepe myrtles. I'm gonna show you how to price pruning crepe myrtles and how you can use this uh, pricing system uh, to back end any price for any service, really. Um, everybody's pretty familiar with the uh, per man hour rate and how to you know come up with that for your company. But, but how do you actually back into a price? Like let's say if you know what you want your per man hour rate to be and you know how long a project takes you, how do you actually come up with a price you know, given, you know, what you want your per man hour rate to be. That's what we're going to talk about in this video. Very simple to understand, but it's going to let you um, bid jobs with complete confidence, knowing that your margins are being met and that you are going to be super, super profitable. So let's check this out. Hey guys, I want to show you how I tackle a Craig Myrtle <clears throat> project. So what I use is, is a pair of uh, hand shears, a handheld sawzall, not a big one, just a one that you can hold in one hand, and then a tarp, and we drag the tarp into the trailer. If you have a dump trailer, fantastic. Not everybody has a dump trailer, so I found that having a tarp and sliding it um, is the quickest way um, to kind of move this material all down this row. So just toss it straight onto here, slide your tarp down, and then slide your tarp all the way to your trailer um, to wrap up. But real quickly, um, you know, we've seen guys that they'll cut the crepe myrtles off here. Um, the way that we like to do it is at the forks. Um, that's just the way that I was taught to do it. Always do it at the forks. So if you want to make a hat rack of it and your client wants that, <clears throat> by all means, go ahead. But, um, you know, doing it at the forks gets you many more blooms and many more shoots. Um, so again, forks and then always thin up the interior of the tree. You don't want these branches like, you know, all, you know, basically look like a spider's web in here. You want it to kind of go out. Not too many suckers on the bottom of these crepe myrtles. Um, so that'll be easy enough to print up. What I found is that the hand shears um, do good for very small, um, very small shoots, but you know, anything substantial, anything over about a quarter of an inch, um, that is the ticket. Also, you want there to kind of be like continuity in the height here. You don't want some up here and then like, for example, like one cut way too low down here. Um, this one, it was just super, super thin and just where it had to be cut. But you really want the top of this to kind of be somewhat even. Um, so keep that in mind whenever you're making your cuts. So what I was talking about with the tarp to you is um, it's going to slide really easy. Um, obviously, you know, <laughs> I can't show you how I'm going to do this if I hold my phone. If I wanted to go in there and get my GoPro and strap it to my chest, I could do that. But I'm just going to have to take my word for it that this slides across the ground very, very easily. So get yourself a commercial grade tarp. Get the thickest one that you can get because you will still wear that thing out relatively quickly, okay? Harbor Freight, guys, it gives you the cheapest price on these things. Don't try and skimp and get the cheap one that's thin. It won't get you through probably two jobs. Get the super, super thick one. Uh, it'll last you about, I don't know, half the year. So uh, great little tool to keep in your toolbox as a tarp. All right, guys, let's uh, just do a, a quick example of how to price these. And then we had a big one over here on the corner, okay? Um, so I've talked about per man hour rate before. And I wanna kinda of just do a calculation where you can actually back in um, to a price, okay? And we're gonna work through that really quickly. I think you'll find this interesting, okay? So these right here, each one of these, on average, I timed every one of these, all right? I'm weird, I told y'all I'm weird. I timed this, all right? This was about four and a half minutes. This one was about three minutes. This one was about four minutes. This one was about six minutes. This one was about five minutes. So all of these size crate myrtles, okay? They were all, on average, about five minutes, five to six minutes here for each one of these, okay? I time myself on this guy right here, okay? Up a lot higher, it's a much thicker tree. Um, this particular one took 12 minutes, actually like 12 and a half minutes, okay? And I wanna show you what we're gonna do uh, with that information and how you can back into your price for this project right here. 
All right, guys, so um, I went ahead and just already set this up. Um, if you want to, to know how to set this up so you can use it for yourself, um, I'll just go through that really, really quickly. If you already know how to do this and you want to just skip forward a few minutes, uh, feel free to. Um, but look, so what we got up in here is, is our minutes. Um, 60 is just going to be a constant number. Um, this is our value column, and then this right here is our actual per man hour rate, whatever we want to get per man hour, all right? So Crate Myrtle, this is just um, a very, very simple generic um, table here that you can set up very, very quickly. So look, what we're doing here in this value column is, look, we are dividing 20 by 60, all right? 60 never changes. That's in minutes. 20 is our time that can change, all right? So 20 divided by 60 is 0.333, okay? You can see that value right here, okay? It's D4 divided by E4, okay? So, so that's how that particular column is set up, all right? So this one right here is set up like this, all right? This is going to be this column times your per man hour rate. Now just stick with me. If it all looks kind of confusing, just stick with me and hear me out. I'm going to explain everything, okay? Very, very simple to understand this. Okay, so what this is saying is, look, if there is a crepe myrtle that takes you 20 minutes to do, okay, 20 minutes, and you are trying to get $120 per man hour, you need to charge $40 for that crepe myrtle, okay? All right, let's go back and say, what did we say that that those small ones took on average, okay? If you remember, we said those small crepe myrtles, they take five minutes on average to do, okay? So if you will plug in five minutes here to this little formula and hit enter, it changes that, okay? So each one of those crepe myrtles, if you can do them in five minutes, if each one takes five minutes to do, if you are trying to get $120 per man hour for that, for that project, you need to be charging $10 per crepe myrtle, all right? Now look, let's say for whatever reason you wanted to get $200 a man hour. Well, what did I t tell you that I was making in this project? I don't know if I did or not, but here's what I was making per hour, okay? I was making $200 a man hour is what I typically go for if I am out working. So let's hit enter on that. That means on average, I need to be charging $16.67 for each one of those smaller crepe myrtles, okay? And again, this changes based on your time. 60 never changes. The only two variables is your price per man hour that you're trying to get and how long it actually takes you. Now hang with me for a second here, okay? Let's just let's just blow everybody's mind here, all right? Let's just change this. Lawn mowing. All right. Lawn mowing. You want a lawn mowing price? Let's say a lawn takes you 30 minutes to do and um, 60 always stays constant. So what's this number going to be before I tell you? Before I tell you, what should this be? All right, you should know that this is going to be 0.5, okay? Because we're going to go 30 divided by 60. All right, so that's 0.5. So if you wanted to make $200 per man hour, okay, for your mowing on a lawn that took you 30 minutes to do, you need to be charging $100, all right? That's a tough sell, man, hard to do. Most people's lawn mowing rate, like if you're doing pretty good, you should be able to get $90 pretty easily. I can tell you guys that I am pretty close to $120 a man hour. So, for example, if we were trying to get $120 per man hour, um, and I knew a lawn took 30 minutes to do, uh, we're just going to put $120 up here, and we're going to hit enter, and that lets me know I should be charging $60 for a lawn that takes me 30 minutes to do if I want to earn $120 per man hour. Hey guys, real quick, I realize not everybody may be familiar with how to set up formulas and stuff in Excel or, or a number software or something, so I want to just take two minutes to show you how to do this. It's very, very easy, okay? If you'll just listen to me for two minutes, I can show you how to do this, all right? So um, let's, just, let's just set this up, like whatever your service is. Um, you're going to go minutes. This is all. This is this is your time, and it's in minutes. Um, again, 60 is constant, so let's just put 60 is constant as as your reminder. Okay, value. This is a percentage value, and this is going to be your per man hour rate. Okay, so what you'll do is, is just go into Excel and just type in those little categories. Okay, all right. These are columns, and these are rows. All right. And guys, forgive me if it sounds like I'm just kind of like 
you know, this is, is baby stuff. If y'all don't like this type of stuff, let me know. I'll never do it again. But if you like it, let me know because um, it's easy to kind of get lost in the weeds on this stuff. But I, I think it's valuable to you. All right, I got like 60 seconds left to show you how to do this. All right, so again, 60 is always constant. So we're going to put 60 right here. Time is in minutes. So let's say a project takes you 15 minutes. Hold on. Florida Turf Pros, this is Jonathan. Oh my gosh, my extended warranty is up, guys. <laughs> Anyways, so value, all right? We said this is a percentage, all right? This is a percentage. It is this number divided by this number, and I want to show you how to do that, all right? Set this formula up. The easiest way to do it is this right here. You're going to type an equal sign, equals, all right? We're going to go D9 divided by, what would you guess it would be? All right, it's E9. All right, 0.25, all right? 0.25, again, because it's time divided by 60. Time divided by 60, and that gives you your value. All right, per man hour rate. All right, here's what we're going to do. Watch this now. Watch this. Let's say if you wanted to make $90 per man hour. What you need to do is, is you need to be able to multiply this value by this number. And here's how you set that up. Watch this, all right? You're going to go into this cell right here, and you're going to multiply G8, G8, that's this cell right here, G8, by F9, all right? F9, there's F9, there's G8. Here's how you're going to do this, all right? Go equal sign, product, what did we say? We said G8, put a colon, or I'm sorry, put a comma. And then we said F9, F9, 22.5. What is that number? What is that? All right, well, let's just change this to uh, currency. All right, this is what you should charge, all right? If a service takes you 15 minutes, all right, and you're trying to earn $90 per man hour, okay? If it takes you 15 minutes, all right? and you're trying to earn $90, $90 per man hour, you should charge $22.50. All right, that's how that works, okay? Well, now that your formula is set up, this can change. If a service takes you 15 minutes to do, all right, and you wanted to make $120 per man hour, you should be charging $30, okay? All right, I, I, hope, I hope that makes sense, all right? Let's say you wanted to make $120 dollars a man hour but the service is going to take you 30 minutes to do you should be charging 60 dollars for that service all right guys so to recap this is time it's always uh, in minutes 60 is always constant this cell will always stay like this value this is a percentage value and you're multiplying this number this percentage value of these numbers by your per man hour rate up here okay all right I hope that's very, very simple for you to understand. If you got any questions, leave me a comment, and I'll try to explain. But um, I, I think everybody should be able to get that. Something that I want to mention about the per man hour rate of $200, um, it's not that my rate of $200 is, is outrageous. It, it's, it's because we're able to execute that project. This is important. Listen, it's because we're able to execute that project in a very timely and efficient manner, okay? For example, that big tree. If that big tree had taken me 45 minutes to do, you know, I can't charge, you know, $200. Let's say if it took an hour to do, I couldn't charge $200 to trim that tree. It's not reasonable, okay? That's why time is the most important factor in what you're doing, okay? Time is the exponential variable in that formula, okay? It's more powerful than price, okay? If you can get your time down and be super efficient, your margins go through the roof. And that's the point, you know, people say time is money. They say that and they don't understand what they're talking about. They're just, they're just talking about trading time for money. No, time is very, very exponential, okay? Again, I just go back to, I, I can't charge $200 to trim that crepe myrtle if it takes an hour to do that, which it would probably take the homeowner well well over that. But the fact that I'm able to go in there and do it in 12 minutes with, with a good system, um, with, with tools, that's how our margins can be what they are, okay? So keep that in mind whenever you're looking at this and thinking $200 an hour is just outrageous. Well, not really. 
Not if you're doing the project in like six or seven minutes, you know, or 12 minutes or whatever. If it's taking you an hour to do it, then you got a problem, all right? Time, 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 time is money. That's, that's what people mean whenever they say that. Okay, if you want one of these things, um, I'm gonna put a link in there. Make sure you get this battery pack with it though. Um, don't get those little tiny ones. This one gives you a lot more uh, battery life. Um, help a brother out. I'll get like 30 cents if you buy one of these things. <laughs> but seriously, man, this has been a great tool um, for me. And I highly recommend it to make quick work of crepe myrtles and uh, get a premium rate, okay? So again, client, you know, you think, oh my God, Jonathan, you're charging $200 a man hour to do this. Well, think about this. If the client were to do this, it would take them realistically half the day, all right? And then they got all this crap to take care of. So they're getting all of these done for what, 130 bucks? Getting all that done for 130 bucks, okay? And I feel good about the money that I'm making. They feel good that it's off their plate. So use good equipment to make yourself efficient. Keep your prices low, keep your margins high.